Hello again, it's Ray Edwards with another of our weekly videos. And this week, the topic is how to develop more focus, reduce stress, and increase patience and loving kindness. Tall order? Yes, but totally possible. There are really three primary things you need to do to get all those results. And it starts with an overarching piece of advice, which I believe originated with Maxwell Maltz. And that advice is you need to clear the machine. You know, in the old days when we had calculators, I don't know if you remember this or not, but you used to have to tap the clear button a couple of times to clear out all the former calculations so the memory was clear and you could start over. Your brain works much the same way. If your mind is cluttered or confused with many different thoughts, tasks, and ideas, you will not be performing at optimum levels and you won't have focus and you won't have patience and you certainly won't have loving kindness. So how do we clear the machine when we're talking about our brain? I want to give you some practical real world advice that may sound kind of weird to you, but I encourage you to try it. Number one, clear the clutter. It's been proven over and over again that clutter in your external environment causes clutter in your brain. So you might be one of those people who argues that, ah, but I, I work best in a cluttered environment. I, I, I know where everything is. This, is. this is my element. I would suggest to you that maybe that's an excuse for not cleaning it up. It's been shown that a clear desk, a clear workspace, an uncluttered work environment leaves your mind less distracted and better focused. So just test this out, especially if you're one of those people that believes that you work best in a cluttered environment. Try this and see if it doesn't make a difference. And how do you clear the clutter? Well, that leads us to step number two. You reduce the complexity in your life and you get rid of stuff that clears clutter and you get rid of unnecessary tasks, obligations, activities, and relationships. And this doesn't mean you don't love people. It doesn't mean you don't care about people. But there's a saying, and that is that you can do almost anything you want, but you can't do everything you want. And we tend to believe, especially in the Western world, that we can have it all. We can do everything. And the fact of the matter is, we can't. So you need to choose what's most important to you and focus only on the very big priorities that are most important in your life and reduce the complexity in all other areas of your life. And the third way to clear the machine, and this is going to sound the most far out, is to expand the silence. You know, as a people, we tend to live in a sea of noise. We are listening to podcasts, to radio broadcasts, to training programs, to speeches, to the television, to reading newspapers. We've got a hundred publications that we read on our iPad. We have a thousand books on our Kindle. We have 7,000 marketing messages a day thrown at us through various forms of media. We can't ride in the car without listening to something. We're awash in a sea of noise. When was the last time you were in silence? Try, if you have a commute, try driving in your car with no music, no audio, no podcast, no spoken word programs playing. Try taking a walk in the woods on a hiking trail. Try riding your bike without any other noise or distraction, just paying attention to where you are and what you're doing right now. Expand that silence in your life and you'll discover a spaciousness and a peace and a clearing of your mind that will make you more productive, more focused, more patient, and you'll be more kind in the process. Try it out and let me know. And you can do that by, if you're watching this on YouTube or somewhere else, go to rayedwards.com. Sign up to get updates on when we release these videos. And then I'd love to hear your comments. Give us a like, give us a thumbs up, share the URL with somebody who needs it. I mean, I know you didn't need it. You knew all this stuff, but you might know somebody else who needs it. Share it. And until next time, I pray that God blesses you with a clear, focused mind, lots of patience, lots of loving kindness. And I'll see you next week.